Hey, babe. Long time no see. Well, I mean, it's been two whole days and... Don't get on me about that. You know you love me. And besides, even if you didn't, you could always just say, I trust you. So, well, don't worry about things, okay? And, uh... Well, I've had a lot on my mind lately, because... Let me tell you. Let's go to my place first. No, I'm not nervous, it's just, um... There may be some people who... Never mind. We'll get to this. Don't you worry. Everything's gonna be a-okay. All right. Let's get a move on. So, how was your day, babe? I bet it was awesome. At least I hope it was awesome. It's gonna be a whole lot more awesome when we get to my place. Don't make any strange moves. Act normal. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing pretty great, honestly. Do you like, well, that I'm good at fashion too? I mean, you kind of kicked my butt last time, but there's always the next round, don't you think? Well, that's what I believe in anyways. <laughs> You'll have to beat me then. Come on, let's go inside. <sighs> Sorry. Things got a little serious. There's some people who, uh, who've been following me. Okay, okay. The other day, well, one of the two days since we've met, I happened to discover something. It was Aizawa, but he wasn't doing anything normal, at least it fell off. So I started looking into it, and, well, I don't know what to make of it. There's a lot that I still don't know, but there's these people that have been following me. I've never seen them before, and they're not heroes, so it made me nervous. If we just act normal, they seem to go about their business, but I'm afraid of what they'll do if they know I'm onto them. It's a kind of stressful situation. Yeah, I'd say so. Don't worry about it, though. I'm not going to let them win. So, I have this theory. I hope I'm wrong about this, but I think Aizawa might have done something bad. I'm hoping it's not true, of course, but I don't really know what to believe right now. You see, he took this girl to an alleyway. And then when he came out, he was alone and he had this scary face. Kind of like when you do something bad, but you feel like you have to do it. I don't know how else to explain it. But it's really hard to... Well, it was really scary to see. And I kind of regret that I didn't check on them, but... I don't know, something about him seeing me with that glance he did. It set me on edge. Plus, I trusted the guy, you know? I still want to. But it's so much harder right now. If only because, well, he's giving me a lot of reasons not to trust him. You know how it is. If someone betrays you, or if they do something that seems like they're betraying you, it can really damage your trust in them. I'm trying my best here, but I'm not sure how it's going to go. So, um, babe, I needed to tell you this because, well, maybe it's cliche. I kind of feel like I'm in a secret agent movie, but if anything happens to me, you got to promise. Don't tell them anything. And... Well, no, I'll be okay. Come on, babe. You know I've been in worse than this. Remember back when that villain almost got me? I just barely avoided a fatal thing. 
I'm still angry about that. And to think we... Well, we did our best there. I'm not going to beat us up anymore. I already faced my demons in terms of that anyways. So, like, today, I was hoping we could... Uh, that we could do something at home. I don't know, maybe it's my nerves and stuff, but I don't really think going outside is the best unless we need to. Hmm. Yeah, we could watch something. Or we could just talk it out. Or maybe even... I have an idea. <laughs> Don't get too mad at me, babe. I just... I love you a lot, and I, uh... Maybe get a little carried away sometimes, and... Well... What can I say? There's no one else in this world I'd rather get carried away with. Come on, you gotta believe me. You know you love me. So, um, babe. Um, sorry if I seem a little nervous. Sometimes I'm looking out the windows and things like that, but I, I don't think they followed us, so, well. I mean, what's the point, really? They probably already know where I live. But what's the sense in worrying about it, right? Um. Sorry, I... I I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Baby. Come here. I gotta show you something. <laughs> did I get you? Bet you didn't expect that one. You did? Seriously? <laughs> That's fine. Wasn't about the surprise. It was about spending time with you. You know what they say. Live every day like it's your last. I'll just do that, you know? Live without regrets. That's how I've always done it. I had no, no plans on changing it. Just, when I look in your eyes, it makes me happy. It makes me nervous and feel just a bit shy, too. You know how it is. Even a big, strong guy like me. The epitome of manliness. Well, I feel a lot when I look at you. And I never thought it was manly not to be in touch with your feelings. I think that's people being weak. They're afraid of their feelings. I'm not afraid of my feelings for you. That's for sure. Oh, baby. Come on. Let's make today amazing. I promise. No matter what happens, it's gonna be a good day. If I have any say in it anyways. <laughs> Come on. No, I... I didn't mean to suggest something like that. I... You kind of got the wrong idea, didn't you? <laughs> I think you might have. At least kind of... N well, not really. <laughs> you caught on to me that easy? Fine, then. Come here, baby. Come get some of your man. <laughs> oh, don't make me tickle you. <laughs> no fair. <laughs> I love you, baby. And having you in my arms like this, it's a dream come true, I'll tell you that. Don't you ever stop being beautiful person you are. I'll make sure that no matter what, we're always there together. <laughs> Baby, I, I love you lots. 
I just felt the need to say it. I'm not one to worry, but I just thought... I hadn't said it in a little while, I think. And, well, it's so true. <laughs> Holding you in my arms, that's what dreams are made of. And you know, when I think of the future we're going to have, I just think I can't give up no matter what. Not on you, not on myself, not on anything we believe in. <laughs> I guess maybe that makes me hopelessly positive, but that's fine by me. It's no big deal, like, I think. I mean, if it is, then I'll just be that much more positive. Nobody can hold me down. Not now, not ever. I'll see it through to the end. And, um... Well... Putting tomorrow aside, why don't we deal with today? I love you, darling. You never cease to amaze me. And I just always want more. <laughs> Maybe I'm a greedy shark. Guess you'll never know. Not now, anyways. That's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> what do you mean you already know? Come on, we're just getting started here. You don't know me like that. Come on, can't I have some secrets, babe? You know you want me to. Okay, okay, fine. You're gonna win this one, but we'll see about next time. Hey. Um... I just need to say this. I love you. Now and forever. So please, please, please never give up on me, okay? I'll be around, don't worry. And I'm pretty tough, so... Well... I don't think anything will happen. You know how it is. Sorry, I just... Couldn't quite get it off my mind, and... You helped a bunch. You really did. Just... Sometimes my mind gets a little... Nervous, you know? Where you feel like... Maybe... Just maybe... You could... Do something different. <laughs> nah, I'm not the type to get stuck in the past. Come on. Wait. Darling. Darling, look out! Ugh. That was a close one. Mm. So it really isn't safe here. Why did someone throw a rock through the window? I don't got a good feeling about this, but... What do you think we should do? If they know where we are, we're probably safer on the move anyways. Why don't we follow? I mean, we'll keep our distance, right? So it's okay. <laughs> so, I have a plan. So if anything bad happens, that's what you'll do. You got a nice quirk for it. So, you don't have to worry. I mean, yeah, maybe it's a little embarrassing, but it'll keep you safe. So, let's get going. Mm, but where did they go? Don't tell me they got some kind of speed quirk or something. A vandal with a speed quirk? That sounds like a nightmare. I'd hate to have to catch him. I'd have to almost depend on them making a mistake. Sounds like a nightmare. I'm not going to worry about it, though. Hmm. I thought of this yesterday, but... Maybe we should investigate the scene of the crime. Nah, too dangerous. You're right. Okay. Remember what I said. Not a lot of people know about you. Well, at least not you and me. So you're going to go look through the binoculars. No, we're not going there. 
I just want you to keep an eye out. See if you can find them. We'll talk through walkie-talkie. Well, these earpieces, anyways. You get pretty cool stuff working as a pro hero, you know. I mean, of course you know. You're a pro hero, too. Does your company do that, too? Well, in any case, I want you to be my eyes. I'll do what I can to be careful. You have my word, baby. So, just relax, okay? We're gonna be all right, one way or another. Yeah, I got a bad feeling too, but I mean, if they know where we are, we can't really hide from them. They'd probably see us anyways. Chances are they have someone on us. So I'm thinking if they confront me, maybe, maybe there's a way we can solve this really get to the bottom of it without having any dangers. Well, that's my hope anyways. So wish me luck. <laughs> the kiss is the best luck I can get. So I'm gonna take it and be that much more tenacious. <laughs> All right. Testing, testing. Babe, can you hear me? All right, good. So, I'm gonna go over here. Wait, I think I see the suspicious fella. I'm tailing behind. This way. That way. He's moving pretty quick. I'll try and stay in sight. Looks like he's going down this alleyway. I don't think I should follow him. Wait a second. There's more than one of them. Babe, I need to be really careful. They can't hear me, but... Don't do anything crazy. I don't know who we can trust. I'm gonna try talking to them, okay? So, little birdie told me that you fellas are looking for me. What do you want with me? Not much for talking, are you? Well, that's fine by me. Come get some! Wait a second. Something's wrong. My quirk isn't working? But why? I can't use it. Crud. This is gonna be dangerous. Why do they have to have that? Why do you guys have syringes? Who sent you? Why are you chasing me? What do you want? They don't want anything in particular. After all, they're just slaves to corporate money. Aizawa? Why are you here? What was with that thing the other day? That was tying up a loose end. You understand? When there's a lot on the line, sometimes you have to get your hands dirty. That's not like you. What happened when you sacrificed yourself for Class 1A? You almost died there. That's not the Aizawa I know. Well, maybe the Aizawa you know has a lot of skeletons in his closet. And he doesn't have a choice but to deal with them. Come on, there must be some way to get through to you. It can't be like this. Everything's gonna be just fine. Now just take this sedative here and... I'm not taking anything, Aizawa. Not without a fight. Somehow I knew you'd say that. But it doesn't change anything. We'll see about that. Well, I guess you weren't kidding about putting up a fight, were you? Of course not. I don't need my quirk to beat you. That's a bold statement. I've been dealing with people, well, 
I might as well be quirkless in a fight. You understand? Experience wins the day, boy. Yeah, keep talking about that, old timer. I think I got you on the ropes. Why aren't your goons helping you? You look like you're just a bit behind. <laughs> They're not here to help. They're just here to watch. Make sure that, well, everything's well taken care of. You're making me seem like a science project now. I don't think I like that, Aizawa. Not your style either. Come on, if you're gonna fight me, do it right. <laughs> you surely don't think that it's that easy, do you? When did I ever say I'd fight fair? What did you do to me? <laughs> What's going on? I don't understand. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Well, we just need a little accident to happen. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm no one's accident. <sighs> now, now. Just go ahead and relax. Who's got time to relax? Not me. <laughs> you're, you're thinking you got me just because... A little syringe? Come on now. Well, it's not just a little syringe, kid. That's, well, a trade secret. Why are you walking away? Because my job here is done. <laughs> you call yourself a teacher? You call yourself... A hero? No. I call myself exactly what I am. And what's that, Aizawa? What are you then? I'm exactly what I need to be, kid. I'm here to do what needs to be done. And I can't have you risking it. Sounding like a villain. To me. You're just a liar, aren't you? Just someone so full of it. You don't know how to justify your actions. No, I can justify it just fine. And I don't need your lecturing. So enjoy the last part of that gift. Ciao. Don't you walk away from me! <sighs> Gotta get a hold of. So you heard everything, did you? Babe, I'm not feeling so hot. Something in that syringe. It's really burning me up inside. My quirk isn't working, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I love you. Come on, let's see, maybe a hospital. Okay. There. Okay, so if anyone says anything, if anyone asks, say, say it was the villain who did this, that you don't know anything.
blood, babe. Don't sound so sad. I'll bounce back. As if I let some villainous concoction do anything to me. I love you. <laughs> I really do. I'll never. Dumbass Deku, making a mess of things again. And... Kiri? Hey, wake up, man. What's going on? Hey, we need an ambulance over here. You. What happened? Never mind, save it. And I'll take him myself. Get to the hospital. We need to go there, stat. Crying won't make anything better. We need to stay strong. It's more important than anything. Not again. Not like this. Damn it. This dumbass. Dumbass. What are you saying? I can't tell anyone. Damn it! Are you saying we need a complete stranger? Look, I'm gonna take your word for it. But every moment we waste... is a moment... You know what. Damn it! Look, there's someone now. Good, they're calling the police. Okay. I'll meet you at the hospital. You better have a good explanation. We can't talk about it there. Damn it! Nothing makes sense anymore. Fine. We'll meet at my place. Got it? Tomorrow at 3 p.m. That'll give you some time to see what's up. Yeah, just shut up, nerd. This is probably your fault. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it, damn it!